Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Shilu's Updates. Today we are going to learn about bar bending schedule. So what is mean by bar bending schedule? Bar bending schedule is a list of reinforcement bars for a given reinforced concrete work and this represented in a tabular form okay for easy visual reference. So this is the bar bending schedule okay this is called as bar bending schedule and who are all the persons use bar bending schedule? Bar bending schedule is used by the detailer, person who checks the drawing, then contractor who orders the reinforcement, steel fixtures and also quantity surveyor. This quantity surveyor is responsible for the estimation and costing of a project. This bar bending schedule helps the quantity surveyor to consolidate the number of bars required in each bar type. So this is the basics of bar bending schedule you should know, okay. So now let's see a small example. Consider a beam section whose depth is 300 mm and width is 250 mm, okay. So this is a beam section and today we are going to see this example only and the clear span is 4 meter, 4 meter, okay. Clear span is 4 meter. Four meter. Four meter means four thousand mm. Clear span is nothing but the length of beam. Okay, that is the clear span. The beam length is the clear span. Next, bearing on walls. Bearing on walls means for how much length. The beam is inside the wall. Okay. Uh, so that is the bearing on wall. We will easily understand what is mean by bearing on walls in the coming diagram. Okay. So bearing on walls. Today I am going to take us 300 mm. Today I told you the size of beam is. So this is the basic details. Now we will see the raw details.
we can see about the raw details okay you can see the raw details very clearly in this diagram itself in the top there are two numbers of 12 mm dia rod is provided and in the bottom there are three numbers of 16 mm dia bar is provided in this three numbers one bar is bender bar okay that is what i have provided here and that is also 16 mm dia so in the top bar that is also called as the anchor bar two numbers of 12 mm dia bar is provided and in the bottom three numbers of 16 mm dia bar is provided in that one bar is bend up bar then this top bar and bottom bar both the bars are straight bars only only this bend up bar is bend in shape okay then both are straight bars okay and then here uh, this is the clear cover for beam the clear cover is this uh, 25 mm okay for beam clear cover is 25 mm and bearing on walls i have explained you the bearing on walls so what is mean by bearing on walls for how much distance the beam is inside the wall so that is what bearing on wall so here see uh, this beam is inside the wall at a distance of 300 mm so that is the bearing on walls okay clear span clear span is 3 half uh, clear span is this one okay so clear span is 4 meter 4 meter means 4000 mm okay so uh, from um, If we take the length of beam, we have to take from uh, uh, this bearing on walls to this bearing on wall. Okay, we have to take the total length. Okay, from this from this end to this end, we have to take. So that is the total length of beam. Uh, okay, so this is the basic detail. Now, when we divide this into two portions, the upper portion is the compression zone, and the lower portion of this uh, beam is the tensile zone. Okay, so here the same thing. See, uh, I have told you that uh, in the top. Two numbers of 12 mm dia bar is provided. The same thing I have mentioned. Sorry, here 12 mm, okay? 12 mm dia bar. Two numbers of 12 mm dia bar is provided at the top, and at the bottom, three numbers of 16 mm dia bar is provided. In that one bar is bend up bar, so that's why I have mentioned like this, okay? So this is the uh, bend up bar, okay? So what are all things we have to find today in this bar bending schedule for beam? The first thing we have to find is this cutting length of straight bar. Okay. Then the second step is cutting end of bend up bar. Then the third one is cutting end of stirrups. The fourth one is number of stirrups, and the fifth step is total weight of steel required in this beam. So these are all the steps today we are going to find in this bar bending schedule for beam. So let's see the first step. Okay, cutting end of straight bar. The formula to find out the cutting end of straight bar is Total length of beam minus two into clear cover. So how this formula came? We can see in this diagram. See, cutting length of straight bar. Actually, we have to find out the straight bar length, isn't it? So straight bar is from here to here. So this length only we have to find. So for that, first of all, we want to know the total length of beam. Total length of beam. I have told you that we have to consider this bearing and walls also. Clear span plus three hundred mm plus three hundred mm. So totally, ah, uh, total length of beam. So totally four thousand six hundred minus two into clear cover. Two into clear cover. Why two into clear cover? Because both the sides clear cover is there. So this both end we have to consider, isn't it? So only here two. Two into clear cover. Clear cover is twenty five mm. So twenty five mm. So when we saw this, we get. Cutting length of straight bar is equal to four thousand six hundred minus fifty, so equal to four thousand five fifty mm. Okay, is equal to four point five five meter. So this is the answer for both of these straight bar. Okay, for top straight bar also the same answer, and the bottom straight bar also the same answer. Now, now let us find the cutting length of bend up bar. Okay. The formula to find out the cutting length of bend up bar is length of straight bar plus two into point four two into h minus bends. So how this formula came? See, we have to find the cutting length of bend up bar. So we have to consider the length of straight bar plus two into point four two into h. So this length is the point four two. Okay, this length. Okay, this length is point four two h. Okay, we have to find this h value also. Then minus bends. Yet the, if we uh, if we find this, we get the answer for cutting length of bend up bar. So 
we have to consider this h isn't it so how to find this value of h h is nothing but this value we have to find h h is nothing but we have to find this value okay this is what h okay this is what h we have to find this h value so how to find this h value uh already we know that the depth of beam is 300 mm isn't it 300 mm okay 300 mm and here the clear cover the both the same clear cover is 25 mm isn't it here also 25 mm and here also 25 mm we have to find this h value so we have to consider total depth minus 2 into clear cover minus this dia of this bend up bar okay so h is equal to depth of b minus 2 into clear cover both the sides clear covers are there isn't it so 2 into clear cover minus dia of bend up bar so what is the dia of bend up bar dia of bend up bar is 16 mm isn't it 16 mm which is provided at the bottom so here answer depth of beam is 300 mm minus 2 into clear cover minus dia of bend up bar so we get the answer 300 minus 50 minus 60 so when we solve this we get the answer 234 mm okay when we solve this we get the h value as 234 mm we have to substitute this h value here okay now h value length of straight bar we know h value also we know so how to find this bends uh, in this bend up bar how many number of bends are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 four numbers of bends are there so we have to consider four and also this uh, rod is bent at 45 degree angle okay so if this rod is bent at 45 degree angle so for 45 degree we have to take one into diameter diameter of bend up bar so see here so cutting length of bend up bar is equal to so so what is the length of straight bar we have found already 4.54 meter just 4550 mm then plus 2 into 0.42 into h h is 234 okay this value i have written here next minus bends how many numbers of bends four bends into uh, this rod is bent at 45 degree angle so for 45 degree angle we have to take it as 1 into diameter of bend up bar okay 1d so 1 into diameter of bend up bar is 16 okay so when we saw this we get the answer 4682.5 mm or 4. 682 meter so this is the answer for cutting length of bend up bar okay now let us find the cutting length of stirrup the formula to find out the cutting length of stirrup is 2 into a plus b plus hook lens minus bends so here 2 into a plus b so we have to find a value and b value a value is the inner to inner distance of stirrups and b value is also inner to inner distance of stirrup so we have to find this a and b value first first okay so how to find this a value a value okay a is equal to a of beam so a value is equal to breadth of beam minus 2 into clear cover both the sides clear covers are there so it's so minus 2 into clear cover minus 2 into dia of stirrup actually we need this distance isn't it so we have to minus this clear cover and also this dia of stirrup okay so 2 into dia of stirrup so we have to substitute the value here 
So what's the breadth of beam? Breadth of beam is 250 mm minus 2 into clear cover 25 minus 2 into diopter. So when we solve this, we get the answer 184 mm. So the value for A is 184 mm. Now we have to find the value for B. Okay. B value is, it's also same as A, we have to calculate, okay. B value is, first we have to take depth of beam, okay. Depth of beam is 300 mm, is that it? 300 mm. Minus 2 into clear cover, okay. Both the sides clear covers are there, so both the sides we have to minus the clear cover, minus 2 into dia of stirrup, okay. This uh, dia we have to uh, minus okay so when we uh, solve this we get the answer for the b value okay so 2 into 8 when we solve this we get the answer as 234 mm so this is the answer for b okay b answer is 234 mm now let us substitute all the answers here we have got the answer a as 184 mm and b as 234 mm is that it Plus hook length. Here how many numbers of hooks are there? Two numbers. Isn't it? So 2 into. The hooks are bent at 135 degree. So if the hook is bent at 135 degree. We have to take as 10 into diameter of stirrup. Okay. So 10 into D. 10 into H. Okay. 10 D means 10 into H. Okay. Next. Minus bends. Uh, since the hooks are bent at 135 degrees, so we have taken as 10D. Okay. Then remaining bends. Okay. Remaining 1, 2, 3. So 3 numbers of bends. Okay. 3 numbers of bends are there. Okay. They are bent at 90 degree angle. Isn't it? So for that 2D we have to take. So 2 into dia of stirrup. Okay. Dia of stirrup is 8. Okay. Here this is 2 into D. So, don't, con don't confuse this, okay? So, I will explain once again, okay? 2 into, this A value we have to substitute here. B value also we have to substitute here. Hook length, hook length. Hook is bent at 135 degree angle. For 135 degree bend, uh, we have to take it as 10 into diameter of stirrup, okay? So, 10 into diameter of stirrup. So, here, why I have written here 2? Because 2 numbers of hooks. Similarly, minus bends. Bends, how many numbers of bends are there? 1, 2, 3. So, I have written here 3. 3 into uh, 2D because this is uh, bent at 90 degree angle. Okay. So, that's why these 3 bends are bent at 90 degree angle. So, for 90 degree bend, uh, 2 into diameter of stirrup we have to take. Okay. When we solve this, we get the answer 948 mm. Okay. Or 0 0.948 meter. Okay. So, this is the cutting length of stirrups. Okay. Now, let us see how to find out the number of stirrups. The formula to find out the number of stirrups is length of straight bar upon spacing plus 1. Okay. So, length of straight bar. What is the length of straight bar? Already we have found the value, isn't it? Length of straight bar is 4.55 meter or 4000 m, 4550 m. Okay, so this is the length of straight bar. Then spacing. Spacing of stirrup is 200 mm. Okay, so we have to substitute those values here. Length of straight bar. Length of straight bar divided by spacing. Spacing is 200 mm plus 1. So, so when we solve this, we get the answer 23.75 which is equal to 24 numbers. So, this is the total number of stirrups, okay. Another one thing I have forgot to tell you that here we have used two length stirrups, okay. So, what's the main difference between two length stirrup and four length stirrup? Two length stirrup is used in the beams with relatively short depth and four length stirrup is used in the beam with longer width width, okay. So, this is the main difference uh, for two length stirrup and four length stirrups. Next step is we have to find the... Uh, uh, total weight. Okay. So, before that we have to write all those results. Okay.
are the results here cutting length of stripe bar is 4.55 meter cutting length of bent up bar is 4.68 meter cutting length of stirrups is 0.948 meter and the number of stirrups is 24 numbers okay so in the, in the last step is we have to calculate the total weight of steel required in this beam okay so let us do that calculation now the last step is we have to find out the total weight of steel required in this beam okay so for that this is the tabular column in the first column you have to write the type of bar, then diameter of bar, then number, total number of bars, then length, total length, weight, total weight. Okay, first of all you have to write all those things. You have, you can uh, do this tabular column in the excel sheet also. Now the type of bar, first you have to write the bottom bars. Okay, in the bottom there are two types of bars, it's only two straight bars and one bend up bar. So straight bar, straight bar at the bottom. So, the straight bar diameter is 16 mm. So, 16 mm dia bar I have written here. Okay. Then, straight bar at the top. At top, I have given 12 mm dia bar. Then, stirrup dia is 8. So, this is what I have written in the first column. Okay. Hope you understand this in the first column. Then, in the second column, how many numbers of bars are there? That we have to write in the second column. Okay. So, in this number, uh, in the bottom there are two numbers of straight bars, totally three bars in the two numbers of straight bars and one number of bend up bar. So straight bar is two and bend up bar one. Then I have written how many numbers of uh, straight bar at the top, two numbers, so two numbers of straight bar, then still up 24 numbers, okay. Then next, uh, in the next column we have to write the length of all the bars, okay. Uh, we have found the cutting length of straight bar. Bend up bar and also steer up, isn't it? So that value we have to write here. So cutting length of straight bar. Straight bar is 4.55 meter. And this one also straight bar, isn't it? So 4.55 meter. Bend up bar, um, 4.68 meter. Then steer up 0.94 meter. Now in the next column, we have to write the total length. Total length is we have to multiply this number of bars into this length. We have, we can, then we can get the total length. Okay, so 2 into 4.55, 9.1. Similarly, when we multiply this number of bars into this length, we can get the answer, total length. Okay, so total length of bars, in this way we have to calculate. The next step is very important. We have to calculate this uh, answer separately. So, this is the weight of steel for 1 meter. So, for that a formula is there, d square divided by 162. Okay, d square divided by 162. This D is the diameter of steel bar. What we have to substitute in this D? In this D we have to substitute this uh, diameter. Okay? If we want to find the weight of 16 mm diameter for 1 meter means we have to uh, substitute the value of that uh, diameter in this D. Okay, So here D, in this place of D we have to substitute that 16 value. So 16 square divided by 162 we get the answer 1.58. Similarly, 12 isn't it? So, here also 12 square divided by 162, we get the answer 0.89. Then, 8 square divided by 162, we get the answer 0.395. Okay, so this is where, this is what the weight of steel bar for 1 meter. For 1 meter, D square divided by 162, D is the diameter of steel bar. Okay, don't forget. So, the last step is we have to find the total weight. Okay, for total weight what we have to do? We know the total length and also, and also the weight of uh, steel bar for 1 meter. So, we, so we have to uh, multiply this both. Okay, total length uh, into weight. Weight of steel bar for 1 meter. So, 9.1 into 1.58 we get the answer 14.378. In this way we have to multiply this both. We get the answer when we... Add all those answers, we get the total weight of steel. But we have to add 5 percentage of wastage also. So for that, the total weight of steel into 5 divided by 100, we get the answer 1.94 kg. At last, the gross weight of steel is equal to total weight plus this, uh, we have to add this wastage also. We can got the final answer 40.79 kg. So this is the Fine. So, this is the final result. Okay. So, total weight of steel required in this beam is 40.79 kg. In this way, we have to calculate the total weight of steel required in beam. And this is the board bending schedule for beam. I hope this video helps you. If this video helps you, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you so much.